Both these figures are held together and held up in the air by a piece of wire around their feet. I really didn't like the idea of them continuously falling off so I made it a nice strong tight piece of wire and I knew that the connection was going to be hidden eventually so uh, I was more concerned about making it strong. That wire was then connected onto this barbecue skewer. Hidden inside the building is a lamp to make the explosion look nice and bright and also a tripod with a drinking straw gaffer tape to the back of it. I kept this weighted down using a couple of little tiny weights here so that it didn't move around whilst I was trying to pose the figures. I used the drinking straw so that I could remove the figures and you know do stuff and pose them anytime I want and just slide them back in. It made it a lot easier once the box was in place. Before I actually had the cutouts I put it together roughly just using some white paper in place of where the cutouts were going to go. I built the box to hide the light and the tripod and cut a hole in it to let the light through where the hole was in my brickwork. I didn't build it square so that I could have it at a jaunty angle on my desk uh, and I built the top out of uh, foam board to keep it nice and strong and then just covered it in some textured paper. Before I chose the background I ended up using, I first chose this one, but I thought it was too orange, the characters didn't stick out well enough, so I changed it for the blue background so that you could see what was going on a little clearer. I also decided to swap the Spider-Man figure for the movie Spider-Man figure. I mean, I prefer the colours and the sculpt on this guy, but because we were getting points for the posing, I thought I'd better go for an action figure that had you know, more joints and more articulation for a better, more natural posing. I think it was a good decision, even though I still prefer the colours on a slightly less articulated one. Spider-Man really is held up by his webbing. It's just a thin piece of wire uh, and a thumbtack used to hold it into the frame in the background there. Because uh, it's quite a light figure, that's all it takes to, to hold him up. I had to change the lighting around so that you didn't see this shadow in the sky behind him. But once I got the lighting down below, uh, it got rid of that. Let me show you what's going on inside the box. I've got the lamp shining straight up at the hole to keep it nice and bright and these are the cutouts, they're just wedged in the hole with uh, a little slot at the top and the bottom to keep it held in place. I built the middle part of the explosion first. It's made up of three layers of cutout uh, and then once I was happy with how that looked I added on the bits that were flying out. The word boom was the last thing that I added to the explosion. shot the whole thing with a, a little cutout on Daredevil that says blam and without the word boom on the explosion but as I watched it back as I was doing the editing I just really didn't like the posing and I didn't like the way that the cutout sat so I decided to you know have a little bit of a jig around and completely reshoot the whole thing and I think it was for the better. That about wraps it up. Time for a couple of quick shout outs. Uh, thanks to Ty Star the Artist for encouraging me to continue doing these behind the scenes videos. And a shout out to The Geeky Hero, I recently entered his 100 subscribers competition. If you've got any questions about this setup or anything else I've done, leave them down in the comments section below. And if you haven't done already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and happy posing.